Hello friends, good morning and welcome to Lug Life. It is an absolutely beautiful sunny day here in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, we got some fresh snow, the sun is shining. It is one of those picture perfect winter days. You guys are gonna get to see a lot of it today because Sherry's cousin Abby is here with us. Uh, she's been here for a couple of days. We've had a great first few days. Um, we went and saw the Broadway musical Six last night. That was off the charts amazing. A lot of you guys commented in the last video and said we would love it. Without question, we loved it. Today is a little bit of plane tourist. So one of the things on Abby's Alaska bucket list was going dog sledding. Well, we are heading up to the town of Willow, Alaska today where she's gonna go get to spend a couple hours out on the trail with an Alaska dog team. Uh, Sherry and I are gonna go along as well, drive her up there, hang out while she's out on the trail. A little bit later, we're gonna go see the snow sculptures here in Anchorage as part of our Fur on the Winter Carnival. And just enjoy a beautiful Alaska winter day and we're taking you guys along for all of it. Look at the sunshine on the mountains from our living room. Isn't it beautiful? Not a single cloud in the sky to be seen. I just told them about six last night. It was so good. Yeah, you loved it? Yeah. What are you looking forward to today the most? Uh, it's a really nice day, so I'm actually looking forward to the drive itself. It's it very pretty. Getting out in the sunshine. We've arrived at Snow Hook, which is where the dog sledding is going to be. And this looks like Narnia. <laughs> Here we are at Snow Hook Adventure Guides. You can see they've got a fire pit outside. I think Sherry and I might hang out there. Got a couple buildings around here. As we drove in, we saw one of their snow machine tours going down the trail. Well, that was fun. We were just standing here. And two of the teams went by. Hey, puppy. <sighs> He's so sweet. Uh, red, the red bag is called your sled bag, and that's where you're going to put all of your gear. I love all the dogs just around the yard. Hey, puppy. Hi. So they just did the introduction, kind of talking about uh, sledding, the Iditarod, going through what is in a bag. Now, walking up to the dog yard. So here is the dog yard. Oh my gosh, I am in heaven. All right, Abby, you excited? I am excited. I could just spend all day. I could also just stay here. That's what I was just gonna say. I could spend all day here. Oh, look at all of them. Hello. I think they said they have 75 dogs here. Sherry, can we get 75 dogs? Um, Maybe not. They are so sweet. And what's really fun is that as soon as we came into the dog lot, they just got so excited because it means they know they're about to go run. It's like, yeah. oh, you're going to take me for a run. Let's go for a run. <laughs> you may go. Huh? You may go. The way that it works is that they assign your group to a musher. And so this is the musher that Abby's going to be going out with. I look like I'm glad Sherry just pointed out, look at them. They're like totally ready to go. Tails up, ready to go. Tails up, ready to go. <laughs> Facing forward, like, come on, please. Please, let's go. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Abby has stopped petting dogs since she got in the dog lot. As you can see, they're getting kind of an instruction on the sleds right now. And it's funny because the closer they get to actually taking off, now that all the dogs are hooked up, they're... <laughs> They are so excited. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Please. Look at how beautiful the eyes are. Oh my gosh. On you. You are so pretty. He was just in his dog box and just jumped up out here. Come see what all the ruckus was about and get some pets. It's the nice thing about Sherry and I. Since we're not going out on the sleds today, 
We could just hang out and pet dogs. This is the best. <laughs> It is time. Abby and the team are about to head out. Oh. <laughs> so fun. And as soon as they run, they stop barking. As soon as they run, they stop barking. <laughs> and isn't it funny, like just how quiet the lot is now? Gotcha. And then you got the, yeah, that one. Every person we have met here at Snowhook has been so nice. So nice. Yep. Very helpful. All very of the informative. All of the mushers, people in the office, just the entire experience. Um, I found them online. I just went online when Abby said she wanted to do this. <laughs> I knew there was a lot of different operations that did this, mm -hmm. and the reviews for Snowhook were just absolutely amazing. I can see why? One of the things that was really important to Abby is that she went to a kennel that was like known for treating dogs humanely. Yep. And that was one of the things I heard over and over about Snowhook was how good of the care they take of the dogs. Yep, and it's evident in the way that the dogs view all of the humans that are around here and all the caretakers. They're just like, you're my best friend. I'm excited to hear about Abby's experience. Yeah. But for now, you and I, we get to go inside and warm up. Yep. <laughs> and they even have dogs here in the office. What more could you want? wanted to step outside and show you this really quick. Uh, it's a map they have of the Iditarod Trail. So the Iditarod actually starts next weekend. Uh, the ceremonial start is in Anchorage, where we live. And Willow, which is where we are now, is where the, it's where the race really starts. They call it a restart, but this is really the official start of the race. And you can see the trail. And then they have a southern route, which goes this way, and a northern route that goes that way. And you can see um, even years, northern route, odd years, southern route. Starting next week, over a thousand mile dog race happening here in Anchorage. Oh, looks like uh, we have a dog team coming in, I think. And look at this. Here's Abby. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> what do you think? A little different than probably a normal Saturday in Kentucky? Probably. I would think so. <laughs> so this is one of the dogs that you got back from the run. Hello. Oh my gosh, did you have a good run? The best run ever? I love when you pet them. They just like lean into you. Oh my goodness. You are so sweet. Yeah. So sweet. Oh. <laughs> now we are in the puppy pen. They are five. Oh. Oh, yeah. Month old puppies, they said. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, hello, look at them. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> Abby has so many friends. <laughs> I'm lovable. Well, we got to see dogs. We got to play with dogs. We got to pet puppies. Abby got to go out. And her first Alaskan mushing experience. I gotta say, this was a success. Now the question is, will we be able to get Abby out of the dog lot? <laughs> <laughs> she, might, she might just live here now. <laughs> yeah, I think she's just here for good. Well, we are back in Anchorage. Uh, drove back in from the Willow area. Sherry Beth is right here. Abby is just getting out of the Jeep. Our next stop is the Ferrandi, which is like our winter carnival uh, snow sculpture competition. They take these giant blocks of snow, different teams carve them, and today was the judging. So hopefully they look great today. Let's go check it out. Here's the first sculpture. You can see you got a salmon right there. We definitely found the one that will be Sherry's favorite. You guys, it's Rapunzel. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. And then each one of these has a like information <laughs> about the team. Rapunzicles, Frozen Fortress. Look at that. <laughs> So you got a telephone here, and then, look at that, they did a giant telephone. So the snow sculptures actually are free to come see. Uh, they always start like the first weekend of Ferrandi, and normally they have judging. I think the judging actually is today, and then they'll be up, well, 
for the rest of the festival or until the weather warms up and they melt. See, we got a gnome, some mushrooms. Look at the detail on this one. This is crazy. With the flower petals. See, we got the dragon head, like with the teeth. This actually is one of the better ones, not just this year, but that I've ever seen at the Snow Sculpture Competition. And this is really impressive because when you see ice sculptures, obviously ice holds the shape, holds the form, but snow tends to get crumbly and fall apart. And so to get the, just the detail and stuff in there, pretty cool. Oh look, there's Sherry and Abby. Okay, well, I'm a moron. I thought it was a dragon. It's called Seasons of Life. There's like eggs, salmon eggs, and then there's like the little fish, and then there's bigger fish. Am I? Am I the only one who thought this was a dragon? You can see a pretty good turnout today. Sun is still shining, beautiful day, and uh, quite a few people out here checking these out. Well, here's my favorite. It's called Squatches. Name. <laughs> what is the team name? Two cold chicks and Nathaniel. <laughs> Two cold chicks and Nathaniel. <laughs> All right, favorite snow sculpture, Sherry. I like the Rapunzel one. Shocking, Abby. Both kinds. The, okay, there was one I didn't show it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it, the title was Block 22, carved by Team Block 22. Block 22. Mm -hmm. It looked well. It was just a block that looked like people had just carved, in. Had carved <laughs> random things in. Words or whatever. No, but actually the rotary phone. The rotary phone. Fantastic. That was cool. It was That's really someone good. Someone would even think to do that. I've never seen a snow sculpture that also had like the reference piece in front of it. Oh, it yeah. was totally for pictures. It was yeah, yeah. very smart. But it already had one ear infection. I don't. That, that is true. Uh, Abby has an ear infection on this trip, so that's got to be fun to travel with. Mm -hmm. How was dog sledding? Amazing. Super Amazing. fun. All right, I think, I think we're going home now? I think so. I think we're going home. Well, we did not go home. We actually stopped at Anchorage Distillery to try a couple of drinks. You can see it's actually pretty busy here. And you guys, there's dogs. Right, you go? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. All right, we have our drinks. And you guys, I don't know what is going on, but look, there are more dogs over there. There's like four dogs in here right now, and I love it. Best distillery ever. So many dogs. Oh, we are recording. Excellent. Perfect. This would be a good part of it. So it's several <laughs> hours. We're going to keep this part. So it's several hours later. We're definitely keeping this part. Uh, we are going to end the vlog. But, Abby, how's your trip to Alaska been? Horrible. <laughs> this place <laughs> is the worst. <laughs> and the only thing that makes. They treated me terribly. I was going to say, the only thing worse than this place is the people <laughs> that you oh, stayed people with. People are awful. <laughs> Terrible. It's cold and the people suck. The people yeah. are even colder somehow. It's been fantastic. And I feel better than when I got here. Success! Good. Not just my ears. <laughs> Can you, like, going on vacation getting sick is the worst. It, it happens to me. That's terrible. But you're feeling better. <laughs> I am. So progress. I'm glad here. It's been <laughs> so fun having her here. Glad we got to do as much as we've done. Uh, okay. She'll have one more day, all day tomorrow, that she's here, so we're gonna get out and do some more things. Um, just glad that we brought you along. Dog sledding. I am gonna link down below the, what was it called? Snow hook. Snow hook. Snow hook. Mm -hmm. Snow hook. If you guys want to check that out, coming to Alaska, I thought they were great. You went out with them. Ten out of ten. The yeah. conversation was just as good as the experience. Yeah, it was like the people uh, up there were just so kind, so nice. You could tell they treated the dogs really, dogs really well. The dogs were happy. Happy and healthy. I love that. So, friends, we love you, and we will see you on the next Lug Life video. Mm -hmm.